In Thailand, over 97% of the population are Buddhist, and there's estimated to be over 50,000 temples. The most iconic being the Grand Palace and Royal Temple in Bangkok, housing the Emerald Buddha. Having been in there and taken a stroll around, I can completely understand why it's the number one tourist attraction here in Bangkok. The attention to detail in the buildings is magnificent and it's an incredibly spiritual experience. Then there are less formal open air temples like the Big Buddha on Koh Samui. These temples are at the very centre of community life. You're encouraged to take part by ringing the bell. What you do is you make a wish beforehand and, uh, and then you bang the bell and hopefully your wish will come true. It's a really nice, tranquil, peaceful setting. So uh, let's make a wish. While I was receiving a blessing in Koh Samui, Amanda was in northern Thailand at another famous temple in Chiang Mai, finding out more from her guide Kim. This temple was built in 1384, and we call this one is Wat Prathat Doi Suthep. Yes, the important thing is uh, this pagoda has a relics of a lot Buddha, but this one not contained inside or the top, but buried two meters under the ground. So I can see tourists here, but locals come here too? Yes especially Thai tourists who come to visit Chiang Mai. This is the first place of Thai who to come to pay respect or pay homage with the relics of a Lord Buddha. And what sort of things they do here? They pray with the Buddha and then uh, they will walk around the pagoda three times and have the offerings like uh, lotus flowers, incense stick and the candles. Even if you're not Buddhist, I think you still feel a sense of calm and peace here and respect as well. I think you, you want to cover your shoulders and your, your legs. The fact that Buddha's um, relics are here too obviously means so much to the people here and I think that comes across. It's an incredibly beautiful place. 